Hello guys, I hope everyone is doing great. Welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about TCS coding questions. So these two were the questions that were asked as part of TCS interview. So if you haven't watched the video, please go to on our channel and you can visit. So this was for the end candidate with the experience 4.5 years. So this is the video like uh, sorry, this is the video that we have already shared, which is there on our channel. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the coding questions that were asked and we'll as part of the interview and we'll be trying to give the solution. So firstly, let us choose this one. So what is the question that write a program to find a number is to find a number is even or odd without using modulus operator. So this is a uh, uh, can we like this can be solved using different ways. So uh, the first way that I would like to solve is uh, we can divide the given number. We can get the coefficient and if we multiply the coefficient with two and if it is equal to the number that we have used then it is even or else that would be an odd. So how we can see let us take in some number. Okay, let us name it as input number and let us take it as 5. So 5 is an odd. So how to find it? So whether it is even or odd, we can what we can do. So we just declare one more coefficient a and a coefficient equal to 5 by 2 divide it by 2 or instead of 5 you can say input by 2 okay so you get one coefficient one number and what is the logic if this coefficient multiplied by 2 equals the input number the number which we have taken as input whether to check whether this is even or odd if this equals then this is a even number even number or else directly this is a odd number so this is how we can achieve it without using modulus operator so let us run and see whether this gives the desired output or not 5 is the input 5 is an odd number so it should print odd number so if you see the odd number gets printed if at all if we take it as 6 so 6 is an even number and let us see what it prints so 6 is an even number so this is one way of approach uh, how we can do it the second approach is approach to using bit operator how we can do that even that is very simple uh, what we have to do uh, let us take the same number as an input now what I'll do if at all uh, what I'll do if at all input and percent one double equals zero then this is even number so let me print it as let us let me print from yeah let us print this only copy input else directly i'll copy this as odd okay let us see now two times this should get uh, even should get printed so both the times even gets printed if at all i take it as seven and then if at all i run this so both the times odd get printed so these are the two approaches uh, that i that can be used to find whether the given number is input whether the given input is an even number or odd number without using modulus operator so i hope uh, it was pretty much straightforward question and it is easy as well so next question is print a pattern with one star in one line and two stars in second line and so on up to five rows okay so ideally this is called pyramid or triangle you can say so let us see how to achieve that so I'll write a prior one method here, like a static method. Let me write public static void.
right print just check it as triangle and it takes one input n so what we have to do we need three loops to achieve this goal so first would be int i equals 0 i less than n increment i so here in this this is the first input and sorry i here so here i just print one line that's it so next what i'll do i need one more i need two more for loops here so for int j equals n minus i j greater than 1 decrement j i'll tell you why we need this for loop and here yes so so here what i'll print i'll print space I'll tell you why we need this next for loop we need so next for loop how it will start let us take it as in j equals 0 j less than or equals to i j increment we will increment the j and here in this Uh, we'll be having one more sysot where we'll print a star so ideally it should be printed so let us see uh, let us call this method and see what will be the output let us take the same input number we'll pass the same input number okay so let us run this and see how see we got the desired output so ideally the input is taken as 7 I think yeah it is 7 so we got 7 lines and in the last line like the first line we got 1 star in the second line we got 2 stars 3 stars 4 stars 5 stars 6 stars so what we have done here will explain no so the first outer loop this outer loop is just to print one line so what is this outer loop for outer loop for hand to uh, or else we can say outer loop to handle rows okay so next this for loop this uh, like inner loop to handle spaces to handle spaces and the third inner loop is to print the stars print the stars oh sorry so this is uh, what these were the two questions that were asked as part of TCS interview questions so these were pretty much straightforward questions but uh, if at all you are not practicing it especially to the print pattern or uh, ideally if you are from uh, like CSC background uh, in your college or in your BTEC or BE or uh, you will in the labs you will be asked to print these patterns but if at all you are from some other background so you need to practice a lot and even this thing uh, logically you you have to think how we can achieve so it looks straightforward but these are challenging questions especially when you are under pressure in the interview so i hope uh, this has given you some good picture like how to solve these two questions and this that's it in this video and it was about these were the two questions that were asked as part of tcs interview question and yep yeah, i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching